Dom from Dom's Fishing Adventures. I've uh, caught a few snappers, not many. You beauty! <laughs> Woo! Still a terrific, a terrific fish, a beautiful price catch. In my lifetime, but I've caught a couple, and I decided to keep the jaws, and I tried to make something that resembles the jaw of a snapper. And I'm going to attempt to do that for a full skull. I'm just going to show you. So this is the skull here. Right, so it's out of the oven, and I already started to pick on this side here. But I realised the oven actually dried the skin off. So I'm just going to put it into a bit of water, just to see if I can soak the skin away soften up all the meat too. I'm trying to catalogue all the all the little bones. It's gonna be a tough task. And you get rid of all the flesh and all the meat, the skin and all that kind of stuff. You can eat it if it's nice and fresh, it's actually not too bad. So you clean it up, wash it, use a toothbrush. Make sure you don't use this for yourself, but clean up all the bones and whatnot. And basically you soak it in a solution of water and detergent. Gets rid of all the oils. I was so surprised how much oil is extracted from the, the bones. What you also do when you get rid of the soapy water, rinse it out, is you uh, go to the chemist and get yourself some hydrogen per peroxide. So this small of skull here, it's been soaking away in a solution of sodium peroxide. Just overnight, just gonna strain it. So there's all the bones and the skull and whatnot. It's a bit daunting to think you've got to put it all back together again. So what I need to do now carefully is get these pieces. Now this is a good piece. Apparently this piece, you've got a bone here, you get this main bit here, and there's another piece here that may come disconnected. I prefer it all in one. It's all intact. <laughs> Trying to put it together is quite a challenge, but if you need to put it back together, you somehow work it out. So, all I need to do is scrub all the excess flesh, cartilage, like this piece here. See, that's very loose. Just try and clean it all up. That's the skull. So, get rid of those pieces there. And somehow with a with something you need to shake out any other bits and pieces. You've got a bit of a brain in there. <laughs> Just clean it all up so it doesn't start to stink too much. Alrighty, so they've been drying for the last day. Went to work and uh, yeah, they come up pretty good. It's nice and white. It's not much of a tinge of a yellow. Just to give you an example, this is one I actually was meant to do initially, but I got carried away and ended up finishing it off. <laughs> I think it worked out pretty good. You can see it's a bit yellow and the oil was still coming through, but this one here, it's quite white, which is good. All right, so the first thing to do, I've got this jaw. Yep, you may have seen this little bone before. It looks like a shark's tooth. Well, that basically goes in here on the side of the jaw here. It sits nice and flush. So there's one on this side, and one on that side. Bit of super glue, too easy. Oops, it's running a bit, just a touch. That just fits flush there. This one here goes here as well. I'll put a little dab. With the super glue, if you want it to dry really quickly, just dab in a bit of uh, baking baking soda. <laughs> Makes it go rock hard within seconds. In the middle bit here, usually you don't have to worry about this, but I will put just a few drops in, just to uh, strengthen the jaw, lower jaw. Bit of the baking powder, baking, <laughs> baking soda. Okay. 
the top jaw here. Right, it gets separated because there's a bit of cartilage there. Bit of glue, bit of the powder. There you go. Stiff as touch ball just over here. Bit of the powder. Beautiful. Hopefully I got it the right dimensions. That looks pretty good. Now these two pieces here they go on top of the jaw, like this. There you go. Double glue. Sits like that. Now, lucky I've got the template here. I can, I've made a couple of jaws here. So that's this bit here. Yep. So if you are pulling, your, if you are making your own skull, I'd recommend it to either take pictures of how the skull looks like well, after you take all the meat off, because it is a bit hard trying to find all these bones and you don't know where to put them. As I said, this is probably my, I've done two jaws and one skull, and <laughs> I still managed to have bones left over. So again, just a few drops, and put that in place right there. Now to put the jaw together, it's just like that. Just like that. So that's finally on. I had to use these little battery clips for the uh, to get that in right, but that's yeah, it will do. It's not quite level, but <laughs> won't even sit up, but that's okay. Now that's the skull cheek bone here and it did give away this bit here that sits right in there there's a little groove that just sits in there and then where the uh, there's some sockets where it just sort of fits in nice and snug so that's awesome usually this falls, falls to pieces and you know you've got one piece here and you've got two pieces here another one here and then these come off but I'm glad they actually stand intact what I might do is strengthen it up. You can see the pieces have actually, um, yeah, where they're actually meant to disconnect, and around here too. And that piece seems to be intact, but it's a bit worn here. the other side yep so I'll do this as long as the jaw sits sits in and if the other two connections don't line up that's fine so put that in there and that goes yeah almost there That's not too bad. Looks like bloody alien. There you go. I believe the jaw, even if the side gills don't connect up, I've always got the skull to sit on. And that doesn't look too bad. Uh, it looks pretty bad on the other side. But, yeah, that'll do. That will do. Fantastic.
Okay guys, so there you have it. I actually added these two bones on the side here to give it a bit of a, a good way to stand up. So it's sitting pretty good, pretty smart. So that's, I reckon that came out pretty good. It's not too bad. That's the inside here too. So a bit of super glue, a bit of time and effort. Got myself a nice skull here. Oops. That was the first one I did, I was missing a few bones. But that was a bit bigger, this one. And a few other jaws as well. There you go. So I've got a bit of a collection. A bit of a museum for snappers. Alright guys, so if you enjoy the show, make sure to subscribe and like it. And uh, I don't know if I'll be doing much of this um, in the near future, because it takes a lot of time. And my fingers are starting to get tired with that super glue. Anyway, so they're quite easy to do. Check it out. You know, research it on YouTube. I just thought I'd like to share. See you next time. Take it easy. Ah.